give us a holler at the lab. Go buy the album. So three people bought the album. Six people gonna burn the copy of it. So there's no way in the world you gonna make sales. And furthermore, why would a person, uh, the average connoisseur in our recession, go and buy a CD of somebody who they only know a song, possibly two songs that might be hot? Buy a whole 14 track album when they only know you got two songs. Why would they do that? Or for that matter, why would they spend money to go and buy any album when they can download one for free? I mean, that's not a lot of give and take in that situation. Pay for free. Pay for free. Average or ordinary Joe gonna take the free all day. I mean, that's just the logic behind it. They gonna at least take the free, whatever somebody gave them free, and try it out. Whether it's a shirt that they won't wear with some funny, stupid colors and writing on it, whether it's a hat that they don't even wear the style of, they're going to take it home and put it on and look at themselves in the mirror. They're going to take it home and put it on and look at themselves and size themselves and be like, no, I can't get with that. Or um, maybe if it was a different color, something of that nature. They're going to take your CD, your DVD, whatever you gave them, take it home, listen to it, analyze it, and at least just give you the time of day to pay attention to who you are if you give them something. But on the flip side of that, if you ask someone to pay for something from you, you are putting them to the test of actually going through and listening to your whole album to understand who you are and not just play the two or three songs that they heard played at the club or they heard somebody have as a ringtone or something to that effect. Because the one of the biggest things that I remember coming up was, could we listen to your whole CD from front to end? Or could we take a tape and listen to your whole tape from the beginning of the tape, flip it over to the end of the tape without rewinding? That was always a big question mark. And I mean, a lot of artists today are falling victim to that same thing. Let me put out three tracks that I can make singles, make, out, make videos out of, and I'm good. Let me go to the next album. So we get a whole bunch of repetitive same thing. The repetitive same thing is burning everybody out to where everybody wants a change of, or a breath of fresh air of something new and something different. What happened to the artist? That's why uh, a lot of writers and people say hip-hop is dead or rap died because it's not about the art anymore. It's about revenue. It's about money. Let's get back to it being about the essence of getting a message out to a large-scale audience using a beat, music, and let's go. It was simple. A beat, some music, and lyrics. Those three things shaped and molded a whole entire generation. That's how we are able to stand right now and have so many people that are millionaires or quote unquote millionaires by doing music. Never in history have we had so many people being empowered and above the poverty level by doing music. Independent, their own people doing this stuff. There's a lot of this going on. So it has the, the roots of the genuine hip-hop as a culture are still there. We just got to tie back into it. We just got to go back and start picking the, the fruit from that tree. Because right now it's all about money, 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 money. We're not, we've lost our, 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 our. Where did the art go? Where did the art go? We're going to switch to our next segment. And I just got to ask again, are you pondering what I'm pondering? You're on. No, no, I'm good. Gotcha. Let's go ahead and start it. Cut this shit out. This can be behind the scenes footage. <laughs> you must be resting your throat. Oh. You, because you didn't respond with nothing I said, you just... Mm -hmm. My brain is <coughs> running in one direction. No, it's just processing information so fast right now. Are you on drugs? 
No, not today. Did you drink an energy drink? No. Oh, uh, about. Yeah, that's what it is. You'll be uncomfortably energetic. <laughs> Make you run abnormally fast. So fast, you'll be running and people think you're a Kenyan. Damn, how long does this song? It's like a Kenyan against actual Kenyans and you get deported back to Kenya. <laughs> Shit, this song been going for a minute. Yeah. No, because I messed up and played the same song once and then I had to wait till that stopped because it was like a 90 second song. Then I went into the next song and this song been going for at least four minutes. This one song. So you played two songs on that? Mm -hmm. To make sure I got them in there. All right, I want to apologize to everybody. I'm having to uh, multitask and be engineer and show host at the same time.